Hey everybody, I'm Shane Reynolds. Welcome to another episode of Pete and Connect. We are in Baldwin County, more specifically the historic downtown of Foley, Alabama. And today we're gonna to stop by the Chamber of Commerce to talk a little bit about the economic impacts of a company like Peden stepping into a new market like this. Let's do it. Hey. Travis, good to see you. How you doing? Thank man? you for joining me. Yeah, I appreciate for sure. It. For sure. Should Great we take office. A seat? Well, thank you. Plenty of room to walk around. I'm a pacer. Very nice building here. Nice new building in this historic It's the newest, oldest building in downtown Foley. Newest, oldest. Yeah, so it's um, going to turn 100 years old next This year. building's 100 years old. It will be built in 1925. So tell me a little bit about the chamber. Yeah, so I've worked with the chamber for about 10 years now, and it's always interesting when meeting someone new. It, you know, you say, how, how are you doing? Where are you from? And, and what do you do? And so when I say I work for the South Baldwin Chamber, usually I get one of two reactions. So it's either the complete blank stare and you could tell, I don't know what that is. Or, you know, they actually have the courage to, to ask. And so I get the opportunity to um, inform them that there's an organization right here that helps businesses in the area. You're connecting people. It's yeah. all about connections. It's, it's my favorite um, part, Shane, is, is connecting people. You see small businesses that open and so many times it's somebody who's maybe you know drained their savings account or or mortgaged their home again to be able to have this dream of opening their business and they get started and they're more or less lost and they're not sure what to do and to be able to kind of grab them and say hey here's an organization that's here to help you succeed yeah. and you know here's some groundwork the foundation that you can build here's resources that you're gonna need, and here's five people that you wanna surround yourself with that are gonna help you excel. And, and watching that relationship grow and um, watching that person succeed, it's just, it's so rewarding. We, we love what we do here. Yeah, yeah, as you should. Yeah. <laughs> we all should, right? We do uh, about 60 events each year, including the, the Gulf Coast Balloon Festival. Um, we've got Casino Night coming up. Uh, just a variety of different ways that we can serve the business community, but that's kind of our overall um, basic function. How's the market growing? Rapidly, Yeah, I guess you could say. I think it was um, last month, they named Baldwin County as the seventh fastest growing county or metro area in the entire country. Really? So um, there's lots of dirt moving. So this isn't just a small town anymore, this is a metro area. Yeah, yeah, it really is. How does it impact this market when a company like Peden comes in. I know they've, they've well established themselves in Florida. Yeah. And they've been kind of trying to set a foothold here in, in Alabama. Sure, sure. Well, it's, um, you know, again, potential. And we mentioned the, the growth, um, which increases the demand for some of the services that Peden provides. Right. So, you know, we need more HVAC techs, we need more plumbers, we need more electricians, because the demand was already there. Then of course you add more homes and more businesses that there's there's more of a demand. So it's hot here too. <laughs> yeah, and you they're need, busy right now. Yeah, and you need. Busy right now. <laughs> absolutely. Um, you know, just the jobs. Uh, workforce is kind of a hot button topic in the area. Not that it's unique to our area, but um, there's some shortages in areas right. for workforce. And you know, so you think about Peden been around for a long time. That longevity the growth in other parts of the, the country, um, those processes for training their technicians are, are in place. But having local workforce go through that training, I think can be impactful for the whole area. For sure. Um, you know, whether that's they work for Peden for a certain amount of time, choose to, to go elsewhere or even start their own business, they carry that training with them. And, you know, that service and, and that quality um, for, for those skills um, translates even when they're not with, with that organization right. anymore. So I think that's that's really impactful. They're, they're part of the overall experience. Certainly there's been some growth in tourism as well. Yeah. And so 2023, there was 8.4 million visitors to Baldwin County. And, and they're staying in those units and they're staying in those vacation rentals and, and hotels and wow. you know, they need air conditioners too. Yeah. Believe it or not, they yeah. come down, they, they, wanna be, uh, they wanna be nice and cool in the summer when they're in their beach condo. Yeah, so. for sure, for sure. And I think it's, it's cool how they are not, you know, from my understanding, there's, there's hundreds of employees in Florida. Here, I think you have about uh, 10 so far. It's not, it, it's not just, off and running, it's kind of growing with the community. 
And that's, and that's good, and we want them to be a part of the community and, and feel intertwined with them. Of course, that's great. They've already joined the South Baldwin Chamber. Um, there's five chambers in the county. They're all great. Um, they all have their own um, special menu of, of offerings and, and value that they bring. Um, but hopefully they, they get really entwined in the community and, and get to know their schools, um, you know, have a direct pipeline to, to that and, and I guess informing the youth about opportunities that will be there in the future for them and you know, connect with the community colleges and, and nonprofits and, and maybe help to fund some of the things that they're passionate about as an organization and, and just be present. So right. we're looking forward to that because I believe that's the, the culture that I see. Yeah, so, so, so what is the future of Baldwin County? I was hoping you'd tell me. <laughs> you didn't bring your crystal ball? <laughs> No, it's, it's bright. Uh, it's exciting. You know, it's, it's very bright. Um, just again, smart, intelligent growth is, is really important. And that's, um, you know, working with the county and, and state elected officials to ensure that we're building um, infrastructure to support that growth. And, and making sure you have companies to keep the infrastructure running. Yes. That is exciting, seeing, seeing a community grow and not just in, in, a, in a capitalistic way. Yes. You yes. know, it's, it's really nice. Well, thank you very much for your time. Oh, it's Travis. my pleasure. Thank absolutely. you for, for coming to see me. Yeah, absolutely. And you guys at home, make sure you like and subscribe. Get those notifications for the next episodes because there's only one left. Next one, season finale. You're not going to want to miss it. I'm Shane. We'll see you then.